welcome to the Wagga Atari border between Pakistan and India. So named because it separates two villages, Wagga in Pakistan and Atari in India. Locals and tourists queue every day to witness the famous flag lowering ceremony, marking the formal closure of the border each day. My team and I saw two nations unite for a performance at one of the most guarded international boundaries in the world. Female officers open the show, marching towards the gate that separates both countries. The crowd respond with a roaring applause. The MC directing crowds on the Pakistani side instigates a chant of Pakistan Zindabad. Founded in 1959, the flag lowering ceremony involves India's border security force and Pakistan's rangers. The Pakistan rangers are a paramilitary law enforcement organization responsible for securing important sites. Dressed in traditional shagar kameez, draped in prestigious medals, and wearing fantail hats. With each foot stomp, the noise of the metal sole encountering the ground with such force echoes through the amphitheater. The force resonates through each ranger's being. And then the gates open. One notable part of the march is goose marching, known as parade in Urdu, where rangers lift one leg towards their forehead. A festive and patriotic feeling in the crowd is palpable compared to a cricket match. The crowds sing along to famous national anthems and chant back patriotic slogans. A show full of bravado and animated gestures, rangers march, raise their fists and eyebrows to mark their presence. The rangers entertain with synchronized movements, rifles slung over their shoulder, sculpting their mustaches. Counterparts mirror the same action, creating a contest between the two teams. Unparalleled in his goose marching, he is able to kick his leg straight where his foot passes his forehead. The flags of both countries are strung up above the twin gates. A large portrait of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Pakistan's founding father, observes a coordinated choreography. Open gates throughout the day allow a movement of goods, services and delegates. At sunset, rangers perfectly coordinate lowering each nation's flag, signifying the end of the ceremony and any movement at the border. 
The closing of the gates is known as beating retreat, modelled on a 16th century British military ceremony that recalled patrolling units back to their bases. As the ceremony ends, the men in uniform respectfully shake hands, still trying to size each other. Almost symbolic of the relationship between the two nations, summarized as delicate yet well managed by a level of mutual civility. The ritual has stood the test of time. It has survived both diplomatic disputes and even periods of armed conflict. The ceremony is entertaining and the symbolism is powerful. But the presence of these elite forces reminds us of the solemn reality that both India and Pakistan still fear this border as a potential tinderbox for conflict. <laughs>